of you on social media, if you don't know Jesus to the pardoning of your sins, there is a joy that you're missing. It's deeper. It's deeper, folks. Listen, joy is deeper than sorrow. So when sorrow takes you under, joy is there to meet you. Come on, somebody. Amen. I, I heard your prayer. Hey, I heard your prayer, deaconess. And, and I know that you are being the example and showing them what joy is about. Amen. Amen. We've had some family members of Shekinah that have lost family members this week from the earth realm, but they're not lost. Well, unless they were lost to Jesus, they're not lost. Amen. Hallelujah. They're, they're more healthy than you and I. Amen. And what we have to do now is shine forth. Amen. Show them that, yes, I'm going to cry and I'm going to have times of sorrow and grief. But I'm telling you, through this, I got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Through this, I'm telling you, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Through this season, watch God bring us through. And so for every family, I don't know who I'm talking to, but for those families and you're in grieving in that season, I want you to know that Jesus still loves you. And that grieving does not have authority over your life. It has permission. Watch it now. I want to hear catch this, somebody. Seasons have permission. Let me teach before I preach. Seasons have permission, which means because we are carnal flesh, things will happen. Sorrows will enter our lives. Sometimes it's through death. Sometimes separation in different ways. Family issues in different ways. Those are seasons. Yet, God showed us in natural seasons that we've got four seasons, and the seasons change. All right, so seasons have permission to exist, but they don't have authority to remain. They don't have authority to remain. I need somebody to get that. So go through your season. It's legal. Go through your season. We won't know how comforting the Holy Spirit is until we go through a situation where we thought we could not be comforted. And somehow we sing again, we laugh again, we, we shout again, glory to God. And so I'm encouraging those of you out in the island of Bermuda that the way that the Christian goes through things is that we probably, well, just like you, grieve and cry and have sorrow. Yet there's still a song in the night. Hallelujah. God, I ask right now, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel a tugging. You're going through this loss? Oh, if you already know Jesus, let him comfort you. If you don't know Jesus, let him into your heart so that you can feel the comfort that you've never known before. And God, I pray, God, even over those folks, families in the island of Bermuda, going through what they're going through. God, meet them there and meet them at the end because you are Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. So God, thank you. Thank you for caressing with your love. Thank you for covering with your love. Uh, and God, even during this time, thank you for courting them with your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Jesus loves me, folks. Jesus loves me. Oh, my Lord. Bible tells us that. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Such a simple song. They learn it these days. 